Good morning, good morning, good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, <laughs> good morning friends. Happy Thursday. Woohoo! I'm going to tag some folks. Tag my friends. Tag whoever is online and my stream here. And I just want to say good, good morning. Just bringing some morning encouragement y'all's way while we are in the kitchen. Not starting the day. We've been up for hours, but gliding into the day. I'll just say that. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you got tagged, it's because you in my list right here. It's just coming up. So random tags and the baby's getting up. So this is going to be even faster. <laughs> good morning, good morning. This is what the day looks like at the Mabry household. Wait a minute, I'm going to clean it. As both kids go off at the same time. Now this is what I'm about to do. Y'all about to see me work this out. I'm going to get one child situated. And then you get the other child situated. One at a time. Good morning. I cannot see who's in here, but welcome, welcome. Here's your yogurt. And I thought I was about to do dishes real quick while I talked to y'all, but as you hear, the baby just woke up. Here, sit back. All right. Un momento. As you see, Dream, she was like, I am not in the mood. And this is what I'm going to do. Y'all going to see me do this live and living color because this is going to help somebody. This is going to help somebody out right now. One moment. One moment. One moment. Good morning. One if you join again, I'm here. I'm about to show y'all how we do this mom life out here, okay? Y'all get to see it live and in living color. This live is some encouragement for somebody. I don't know who it's gonna be for, but this is what you gonna have to do. You see, I thought I was about to have a cool, calm, collected conversation with my people, and the kids just wanna both go off at the same time. We get one tamed, the other one wakes up. But <laughs> um, this is a metaphor, and this is an example of how you just gotta do your life anyway, okay? Um, <laughs> I want to create this video to encourage several people out there um, to just stay, stay encouraged, okay? If you got young kids like myself, it can be very trying to stay on your game, stay on your focus, but, and it's so funny because I remember when I had him, I, I had a video saying, strap your baby on your back, strap your baby on your hip. Still got to do that. Good morning, Jimmy. Good morning, Ms. Wells. Thanks for watching. And I want to create this really quick video because as you see, I'm in the middle of mommy morning. Um, but I just felt led to jump on here real quick as I do the dishes and encourage somebody, okay? I want to encourage us to do what we can do. Just do what you can do. Don't worry about what you can't do. Um, make up in your mind that you're going to do whatever you can do. I think sometimes... In my, and I can even say for myself, when I, I have a desire to do something, because as most of you know, I'm super ambitious. I've always been that way, ambitious Amber. Um, <laughs> it can be frustrating when you have your mind made up to do certain things and obstacles, life challenges, changes, transitions um, come in and seemingly mess up your flow, but they're actually a part of your flow. And so this video this morning, hey, and Angie. Good morning. This video this morning is just to encourage my parents out there. Parenting on purpose means not seeing your children as a, a, a um, what's the word I want to use? A burden. A burden, right? You yeah. want to say burden? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was having several conversations with different moms. You know, I, I kind of work on a couple different platforms. So I'm always talking to moms mainly um, and men too. But a lot of times when we as women or we as parents have our own desires and endeavors um, and our children come into place, um, we sometimes can feel like 
you know, y'all in the way. You know, you can be arrogant, you can be mean, and all of that. And I just want to encourage that parenting is something we should take as um, we, it's a blessing. We have to see it from that angle because sometimes <laughs> it's testing to not be able to do things the way or um, in the timing that we might want to. But I want to just encourage us parents that our children are a blessing from God. Okay, they are going to challenge us, they're going to stretch us, but you know what? They're going to help us to answer some of the prayers that we've been praying for many years. Patience, you might have been praying for patience. Go ahead and have a kid or two. Okay, your patience um, is actually going to be tested, but it's going to be strengthened too because it's a muscle you're going to have to build every day. Timeliness is something I'm learning too. I always pray, Lord, you know, help me with organization and timeliness. Well, go ahead and add some kids in. You got to be organized. You got to have a schedule. You have to get an order because if you don't, guess what? You won't get nothing done. Okay? You will not get anything done. And so, parenting with purpose means being intentional to me. Hi, sweet. Enjoying your moments. Learning how to do life with your kids. Um, this even in this pandemic season, I've had several conversations where moms are recognizing um, their heart is to be with their children. We love our jobs. We, we appreciate our jobs. Most people don't love their jobs, but um, you appreciate having a job and benefits and all these other things. But your heart is to be with your babies. Your heart is to be at home. And I can even say in this season, I've had some transitions in my heart on some of the things that I am doing where it's like my heart is really at home. So I just want to encourage anyone out there, men or women, who are also going through that phase of, of change and you feel your heart is growing more towards, Lord, how can I spend more time with my kids? How can I make money at home? And as well as be present with my children. There are opportunities. There are ways. You know, you might need to start writing your book. You might need to get connected to the right people to show you how you can make money from home. And I do have some personal resources. So if you want to have a conversation, I'm always an open door. But in short, I just want to encourage you to be purposeful with your time with your kids. Purposeful with how you treat them when they're in your space, even when you're on business calls. You know, they are not nuisances. As we see this pandemic, you're going to have to just learn how to navigate life with your children. And I think it's a blessing that in this season, many parents are being woke that, man, this is actually a good thing. I get to spend more time with my kids. I get to show them how we do business and how money works and different things. Um, so use this season because it won't probably last forever, but I want to encourage us all, use this season to be intentional, to get your work done. Okay, but not see it. Oh, get out the way, kids, and have that negative mindset. Show them how to do the things that maybe you learned way late in life, like finances, cleaning, cleanliness. These are life skills that we get an opportunity to share with our kids, and um, it's a blessing. I guess that's the moral of the story. Being a parent is a blessing. It is challenging. It will stretch you. It will mold you into the person that you've probably been praying for your whole life. But now it's time to do the work. And when we do the work, we can look back and say, man, I am more patient. Man, I have been growing in consistency. Man, I have been, you know, learning how to show up and be present. You know, um, that's one of my main goals. Are you going to come on in here, huh? Yeah, see how he just ease on in? <laughs> um, you're going to have to just keep in mind that in the hard times, in the good days, in the mornings when your whole morning is totally off from what you wanted it to be, that it's okay. It's purposeful. Be purposeful with the time that you do have because the times go so fast. I can't even believe my son's three going on four and dream is three months old now and I feel like I just had her you know so in short as I wrap up here I want to just again encourage my parents to be intentional with your time purposeful with your children in this season teach them the things you did not get to learn teach them how to be patient 
teach them how to be nice and how to be giving and share and, and sharing and caring. Teach them how to be clean. Teach them how to do finances if they're at an age of maturity. I believe all kids should know how finances work, or at least the basics, by 10 or 12 years old. We wait way too late to learn how to do oh. finances. We wait way too late to learn what entrepreneurship is and how you can really use it to leverage your whole lifestyle. I'm a witness of that. Um, we wait too long to show people opportunities and resources to give them time freedom, um, health support, health, all of that. Like there's so much out here that we as children um, of God and as adults can, can really pour into our children. So she has told me it's enough mommy so i'm gonna wrap up but encourage be encouraged parents is what i'm saying be encouraged use this time intentionally and on purpose for the betterment for your legacy it will pay you in the future have a blessed day we will talk to you soon you want to say bye buddy bye 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 let's see if dream will say bye 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 everybody <laughs>